Fear nearly took over my life. When I was 23, I took a flight for my brother's wedding. Suddenly, I was thrown up into the air, back into my seat. I looked at my brother and I thought we're nearly done for. The weather had taken a turn for the worse. Everyone was screaming for five minutes until the pilot decided to do an emergency landing. Before I knew it, we was back in the sky. The plane was trying to break the clouds and it came back down again. I looked at my brother for the second time and I thought, we ain't making it this time. Anyway, the plane landed. After that, I didn't fly for five years. I moved to Oxford for a job where I met a guy called Matthew. Matthew was the guy you called up, whatever you want to do, he would say yes. One day he walks into my room and he says, we're going on holiday. My eyes were like, what? And he was like, yeah, I can tell. Yeah, you're happy, let's go. He sat next to me, we booked the flights in a few hours. I was just thinking, what the hell is going on here? I don't really want to get on the plane, but I don't want to let my friend down. But check this out, I had the best flight ever. Landed in Barcelona, had an amazing few days. After that, we went to the Romania, Czech Republic, Amsterdam. Then I traveled to Turkey. And over the last six months, I traveled all over Asia. It takes one occasion to totally change your life. Every man feels fear but just some men know how to deal with it better. It's not about becoming fearless, it's about not letting the fear control your life. A statistic out there shows that 92% of people don't achieve their dreams because of fears. The biggest two fears in life are being poor and the fear of death. Being poor can be fixed. If you put in the hard work, you can make money. But death is gonna come to all of us. So why worry about it? We can't avoid it, we can't change it, we don't know when it's gonna happen, so we have to make the most of our lives. Just do the best you can, so when that time comes, you have no regrets. A lot of people out there have a fear of being judged, or getting embarrassed, or worried about what people are gonna think. If I let other people's opinions, my friends' opinions, know about what I'm doing, I would have never started this YouTube channel. I would have never done the things that I've done. Whether you do good or bad, people will always have an opinion. So why care what they're gonna think? But if you don't let people's opinions get in the way of your dreams and your desires, you will be able to achieve so much and go so far in life. Start getting prepared. A lot of you people out there wanna do things but you don't prepare properly. Whether it's approaching a girl, going for a job interview, preparing for a fight, getting ready to get into the best shape of your life, all these things take preparation. If you prepare, you can do anything. Now you might be getting ready to do a big public speech. If you've written it out and practiced it a thousand times, even if you forget those words, they will naturally come out. If you prepare, you can get through anything. People underestimate the preparation side of things. If you put 90% into your preparation, you will only need about 10% to make that delivery perfect. Bruce Lee says, I do not fear the man who's practiced 10,000 kicks, but I fear the man who's practiced one kick 10,000 times. Practice, you have to practice everything that you do. Practice putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. If you want to approach a girl, keep approaching girls until you become comfortable. You can even start talking to the counter staff. You can talk to the bus driver. You can talk to the taxi driver. Talk to as many people as you can. As you practice more and more talking to people, you'll become more comfortable and you'll find it a lot easier. If you've got a job interview, practice with your friends, practice with your family. If you don't have that, Practice in front of the mirror. Practice in front of the camera and watch yourself back. Breathing is a great way to reduce your fear. We always forget to breathe when we get in those difficult situations. The problem is, if you don't breathe, you can't react. Your brain is lacking the oxygen, your muscles are lacking the oxygen, you can't move, you can't think, you don't know what to do. Breathing is a great way to make you calm and reduce your fears. All you've got to do is breathe through your nose, and breathe out through your mouth. Five to six of them, it will totally change you as a person. Even if you're not facing an opponent or you're not in that difficult situation. If you're just at work and you're having a crap day, take some time out during your lunch to breathe. But breathing is so important for staying calm, stress-free and having a good day. Every difficult situation is a chance to learn. 
You have an opportunity to reflect on yourself. A lot of people look at a bad experience as a negative. I would say a bad experience is an awesome way to learn. You can look on it, reflect on it. If you do that, you can make better decisions. Learning to reflect will not only make you a better person, it'll also help you become a better problem solver. Emotions are one of those things that can help you make really bad decisions. Controlling your emotions will make you a better person. Whether it's getting angry or getting scared, you need to control your emotions. Instead of emotions taking over, let logic take place in your head, work out the good and the bad, and use that information so you can make the right decisions. Once you start doing things logically, you'll realize life just gets a little bit better. Sometimes it's better just to do nothing at all. Just stand there, take it all in, see what everyone else is doing. Whilst everyone else is carrying on with their business, running their mouths, running their hands, you step back and take it in. Sometimes no action is the best action. It also shows people that you will not be phased under pressure. The past is loaded with memories that can't be changed, but the future is where you have the power to make all the decisions. So this is the moment where you take the conscious decision to take control of your life. Take small steps, breathe, relax, work hard, prepare, practice, become focused, and you will be able to do whatever you want. If you're still struggling with your confidence, you might wanna check this video out.